Check one, two, check, check, check. It's coming through now. Check one, two, three. This is Breaker Breaker one nine. Quack quack rubber ducky. It's a big Texas size 10 4. We're out here on Route 66. We're looking good, feeling fine. Got some sun in my eyes, but the shades are looking so crisp in the rear view mirror. I've always been more Order 66 than Route 66, honestly. Oh, Mike? Yeah. Check one, two. Quackin' quackin' rubber ducky. Big train rolling down the line makes me lonely. Okay, Josh, I think you're being a little bit dramatic at this point. Oh, wow. Oh, we were in the Reds? Oh. How about now? Still in the Reds. Still in the Reds, eh? This is it. All right, check one, two, we're sounding good. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back inside the South Surrey Arena, joined by my broadcast colleague, James Percy. My name is Joey Pitt. We're coming to you back from the Eagles perch in South Surrey for the bronze medal game between Team Green and Team Gray as a part of the Surrey Eagles Elite ID Camp 2022. We've seen both of these teams play some pretty good hockey over the weekend. That's right, Joey. And you know, I'd just like to highlight a couple of number 13s in this green versus gray game. Uh, on the green side, we're looking at Mateo Speranza. He made a couple incredible plays. I still just can't stop thinking back to the one where he chipped it off the boards to himself after a couple quick one-touch passes. And then in gray, Cole Galata. He was probably the uh, the least watch player on that line to start, but I couldn't really take my eyes off him as the game went on. Just lots of smart plays, pucks on net, and then the cycle as well. Lots of great things to watch for in this game. The play between the pipes in day one of this tournament back on Saturday, July 2nd. Uh, the goalies weren't having a very good time, so to speak. I feel like the systems were not clicking defensively, and it was open season on the goaltenders. That's right, Joey. I For these goaltenders, maybe like, maybe not seeing eight goals in before you know it. So looking at the two nets, it looks like it's going to be Matthew Canduso getting the start for Team Green, and it'll be Braden Burrows looking to get the start for Team Gray. Of course, these things could change. It's not like we're given starting roster or starting lineups for this. But folks, we are going to quickly step aside when we come back. The bronze medal game in the 2022 Surrey Eagles Elite ID Camp between Team Green and Team Gray.
Welcome back to South Surrey Arena. Getting set for the opening puck drop. Garen, or pardon me, Braden Burroughs starting in goal for Team Gray. And in goal for Team Green is number 31, Matthew Can Do So. Set for the opening faceoff. Won by Green, and they'll control off the draw. Gray will try to work this thing out real quickly. Flipped ahead, Cole Galata. Galata in for Alexander Sandu. Sandu, pass into the slot, nobody home. Galata will skate with that one. Pardon me, it's Bongo. Galata throws that one back. Bongo, down low. Pass across, unable to get a clean shot off. It was blocked on the way through. Gray still holding on to possession here. Thrown back at the point, Tate Taylor. Taylor lost the handle on that one. Green's gonna try and break it out, but Taylor steals it right back. Throws for Bongo. Bongo leaves behind for Sandu. And that'll bounce off his stick and go all the way out into the neutral zone. Much better start for Team Gray than we saw them have on Saturday. Gain the zone by Jake Bongo. He'll throw back to the point. Walking the line was Taylor. He'll let go a weak shot. It was sticked aside by Canduso. Chance for Green to break things out here. Here comes Mateo Speranza, had a great day on Saturday. Speranza into the attacking. Cash Dumka Jones held the puck in. Speranza along the near side boards, throws it down low. Shot just wide of the goal. I think that might have hit the outside post. Green still holding on to possession here. Savic Brar. In for Andrew Casalotto. Casalotto around down low. The point. Bumps that in for Brar. Brar lost the handle on that puck. Pass ahead for Cole Galata just out of his reach, and that'll get sent back into neutral territory. Casalotto can't play. It'll find its way back down into the green at, or pardon me, the gray zone. Skating out here, it's Jordan Wales. Burst of speed through center does Wales, but he'll get stood up on the way through. Good stand-up check there by Cooper Stockdale. Good four check there from Jordan Wales as he sent his man into the boards. Steal by Gray, they'll gain possession in the attacking zone, but Casalotto will shut that one down. Stick handling in the slot, trying to find an open man. It'll be forced out the second time around, but stopped up at center. Lucas Robinstein. Robinstein, D to D pass for Liam Magnuson. Magnuson, long stretch pass ahead. Into the attacking zone comes Jordan Wales. Wales will get rubbed off the puck by Cooper Stockdale, but Wales keeps the puck. Behind the net. Defensive zone here. Crossing the blue line is Kaz. Markell into the attacking zone. Feeds it across for Rain Jamison. Jamison gets tripped on the play, and that will draw the ire of the official. And we will get our first penalty of the game as Green will head to the penalty kill. You know, Joey, speaking of the Green team, there's one little play I'd like to highlight. It was just Here, following that trip in the attacking zone by Max Woodward. Player making his way back up to the ice here. Time to work with. They get the opening man advantage here. Four minutes to work with in this runtime scenario here at the South Surrey Arena. Gray will win that draw. From the point, it's Evan Markell. D to D pass. And Markell gets it back. Top. Into the corner. Back up top for Markell. Markell winds up for a slap shot. Blocked fearlessly on a great defensive effort. Thank you. 
It was Amar Sadu to get down in the lane and block that shot. Breaking into the attacking zone is Jack Baker, but Baker tried to throw it back to the point, got past the defender. And Markel will have to regroup at his own blue line. Markel threw that puck across for Kabir Sahi. Shahi into the attacking zone, will ring that around to the other side. Along the near side boards, picked up by Kaz Soda. Threw that puck across. Weak shot, handled by Canduso. Pass thrown right to the front of the net, and a great stick there by Braden Nagger to clear that puck out of harm's way. Nice job by Canduso there to just steer the rebound back towards the defenseman. Didn't get possession, but it was worthwhile. First minute gone by in the penalty. For Gray, but they'll gain the zone again. It's Tate Taylor leading the way. He'll do the Alex Edler drop pass at the red line. Carrying into the attacking zone is Jake Bongo. Bongo in the far corner. He'll ring it around to the other side. Picked up there by Cole Galata. Galata tried to throw that into the middle. He'll get picked off on the way through. Here comes Green on a shorthanded break. Joel Plant tried to throw that puck into the middle for Jackson Hungle, but he couldn't find his. Bongo and Hungle started this weekend on the same line. Now they find each other as adversaries. Thrown back at the line for Taylor, who is not ready for that pass. That'll find its way all the way down onto Brayden Burrows, who plays that puck aside. Cole Galata in for Jake Bongo, cross ice. Bongo across the blue line. Nice drop pass for Alexander Sandu. Sandu has the puck bounce off his stick. to the gray blue line, but it'll be, that is as far as they'll get. Galata feeds in. Here's Bongo. Bongo drop pass. Down low, it's Galata behind the net. He's behind. Bongo at the half wall. Bongo drops behind for Cole Galata. Galata. Lee's behind for, pardon me, Galata gets back. Over for Magnuson. Liam Magnuson threw that puck across into the slot. That'll get cleared to the top of the circles. Here's Galata at the point. Over for Feeds across, shoots, glove save, can do so, and he'll hold on to that one. You know, Joey, they were really looking for the perfect lane there for quite a while. It was pitch and, it was pitch and pass for a while between Bongo and Galata. Excellent puck movement, but they just didn't really seem to find the right lane they were looking for. You know, in a situation like that, Green was doing a pretty good job of closing down those lanes. You have to take shots where you can find them. You can't always look for that picture-perfect shot. 50 seconds remaining in the great power play. They've had some pretty good looks, but no ch no real quality chances so far. But that's mainly up to the play of Can Do So between the pipes for Team Green. Gray will try to break this puck out, but seem to be having a couple issues there. It's Liam Magnuson now. Throws that across for Cohen Oatman. Oatman back into his own zone for Magnuson, but he lost the handle, and here's Casalotto. Casalotto, he'll throw back into the slot, but he couldn't find his man as Blake Cotton came in late. Here's Casalotto again. He'll throw back into his own zone for Blythe. Blythe goes D to D for Stockdale. Stockdale in for Casalotto, but he'll get poke checked. Gray will try to slow things down in their own zone. Shahi. That's up for Oatman. Oatman into the middle for Jordan Ewan. Puck will get forced out into center again. Played there by Markell. Markell over to the other side. Played 10 minutes here at the South Surrey Arena. No score here in the bronze medal game. Into the middle. Chance. Shot. Blocker. Save. Can do so. The rebound is fanned on there. A glorious chance for Jordan Wales to open the scoring. But he couldn't find that loose puck. Here's Casalotto at center for Team Green. He'll just regroup for a minute. Throws a puck across for Owen Blythe. Blythe back into his own zone. Nagger up for Casalotto. Here's Andrew Casalotto with the Northeast Chiefs. Casalotto gains the blue line. He'll walk the line before he gets sent to the ice hard there. By Kaz Soda right in front of his own bench. He got lucky there. No too many men call on the play. Soda sends it around for Casalotto on the other side. 
turned over. Here's a chance for Gray. Shot, and that'll be deflected up into the netting and out of play. That'll go off the stick of Braden Nagger. I believe he got his stick in the lane and blocked that shot. You know, Joey, we just watched Andrew Castle out of skate to the bench after a fairly long shift. He was a player I was really watching going into this tournament, and uh, the offensive production hasn't quite been there, but he worked really hard getting a lot of sticks on pucks and making the right plays on that shift. Gray will regroup in their own zone here. Stretch pass, and that'll be picked off last second as Jack Baker was alone behind the defense. Pinned up between the penalty boxes here. Played ahead, it's Jack Baker. Feeds in for Jordan Wales. Wales trying to find a lane. He'll cut around Canduso and a great left toe saved by Matt Canduso. There's that Jordan Wales explosiveness again. He's got speed and he can find lanes. It's like in a great... Here's Tate Taylor in his own zone. Tried to feed that one ahead. Skated onto you there by Baker. Into the attacking zone, it's Cole Galata. Galata into the middle. Jordan Wales in the slot, had his pocket pick last second. Carried out of harm's way by Lachlan Freer. Freer threw that puck up for Kaz Soda. He'll take it for a skate in his own zone. Soda, he'll look to turn on the Jets. Here's Tate Taylor into the attacking zone, but he'll have the puck bounce off his stick. Nice spin move in his own zone by Cash Dumka Jones. Bank pass off the boards, goes right onto the tape of Tate Taylor. Taylor into the attacking zone, into the middle, bongo shoots, stop can do so. The rebound sits loose in the slot, but it'll be carried out last second. Back the other way comes Mateo Speranza. Speranza, drop pass. Plant. More time. The passing is there, but the reception of the passes has not been there so far for Team Green. Back in neutral territory, that'll be fired into the attacking zone by Parker Roscoe. Burles will leave his net to stop that behind. Skated onto by Liam Magnuson. Magnuson will fire that puck ahead for Alexander Sandu. Sandu into the middle, picked off by Plot, but stolen away by Bongo. Bongo back into his own zone for Gray. Magnuson, he'll skate this up himself. Magnuson across the line, leaves for Bongo, but he got bumped by his own man. Bongo. Look for Sandu, coming down for the line is Markell. Markell will get stapled into the boards. There's a man along the slot. Magnuson shoots, stop, can't do so. The rebound is stopped by Matthew, can't do so. Green, when they're getting their opportunities, they are using them. We saw a great rush there by Mateo Speranza and Joel Plant. Didn't really Held in at the blue line, but it'll be forced out second time around. Breaking out of the zone is Blake Cotton. Walking the blue is Blythe. Blythe down low for Castellotto. Castellotto will spin off a check there. Leaves behind for Brar. Saving Brar. Up to the blue line, gave that puck away. Here comes Jordan Ewan back the other way. Ewan into the attacking zone. He's got Oatman with him. Oatman tried to leave that puck behind him. the goal post and then a defenseman stopped the third opportunity you want to talk about having horseshoes to, horseshoes stored in the goal pads for Matthew can do so what a great what a what a series of events that was from the gray team, but again, gobbled right up, just as that last shot was. So a long shot in from the point. I believe that was Taylor to let that shot go. Gobbled up by Candu, so we'll get another whistle. Played about 15 minutes here at the South Surrey Arena of run time. Another face-off win for Team Gray, but Green is going to force that puck forward. It's Andrew Castellotto. Castellotto leaves that behind for Cotton. Back for Castellotto. He tried to dump that along the near side boards, but he gave the puck away. Back the other way comes Keegan Dunn. Dunn into the attacking zone. He's joined by Jordan Ewan. Shot.
right in the middle. You know, and that's what you got to do to get the job done. And you got a feel there for Matthew can do so, but he did everything he could on the play. It just didn't end up working out for him. And opening the scoring there is Team Gray. Joey, this feels like a whole different Gray team than the one that we saw Saturday. Yes, the team we saw on Saturday was having issues getting their passes together. They had issues even gaining the attacking zone, but it's a completely different team here on Monday. We'd like to wish all of our American fans a very happy Independence Day while we're at it here on July 4th. 34-33 remaining in the bronze medal game. Tate Taylor dumps it into the corner. Back up top for Taylor. Taylor, D to D pass. Over on the other side, it's Brassington. He lets go a shot stop by Can Do So. Pass across. He's a chance for Wales. Shoots blocked at the last second. The rebound sits loose, and it's just taken wide by Kaz Soda on a great defensive effort there. Leaves behind for Braden Nager. Nager, he'll fire that up into the crowd and out of play. There's something to be said for gaining that extra step and grabbing your own rebound. For Braden Burroughs, he's not facing a lot of shots so far in this game, and as a goaltender, getting cold is. We saw it for, uh, against Braden Burroughs Saturday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. On Saturday, Braden Burroughs couldn't have a second to breathe. Guy was facing pucks like nobody's business. He saw. We'll, uh, we'll pull an old classic out of there. He saw more rubber than a dead skunk on the Trans Canada Highway did <laughs> Braden Burroughs on Saturday night. <sighs> Loving the creativity there, Joey. I, I would hope in his goalie gear. One nothing lead for Team Gray here in the bronze medal game. It's Mateo Speranza trying to break the puck out of his own zone. He's helped along by Joel Plant. Gets chipped down in on goal. First touch in a while for Burroughs as he steers that aside for a defender. In on the forecheck there on a great defensive effort with Hungel. Or pardon me, forechecking effort. Hungel, he'll leave behind. Speranza up top. Nagger lets it go. Blocker save. The rebound is smothered. And Braden Burroughs gets his first quality save in a hot minute or The thing I'd really like to highlight is he made a great first pass on the breakout when they're on the power play. So, you know, I would say he's not getting a lot of action, but he's feeling something. From the point shot, tipped just wide by Mateo Speranza. Speranza gets that puck again in the near. Wide at the last second by Jackson Hungle. Can't capitalize. Back the other way comes Team Gray. Into the attack zone, trying to make a lane for himself. Shot, great stop, can do so. Back the other way. It's Lachlan Freer ahead for Mateo Speranza. Speranza drag move, trying to Back and forth hockey here in the midway stages. You often see Speranza go past first rather than shoot, but there was just no option there. Loose in front of the goal, and Bongo tried to get a stick on that one. Doesn't really tell it, but jeez, shots on shots for Gray. Gray has been leading the way. Green looking to answer back. However, they got to get out of their own zone to do that. Cole into the attacking zone. Bongo, he'll get poke checked. Fired down low by Markel. Sandu threw that puck across. Shot from the point from Shaw. He stopped and fought off by Canduso. Shaw, he again stopped by Canduso. Paris, there's another chance in front of the net. Sandu threw that puck across, shot from the point from Shaw. He stopped and fought off by Canduso. Shaw, he again stopped by Canduso. Paris, there's another chance in front of the net. See that reverse hit he had earlier in the game? Galat has been playing great hockey throughout this tournament. As you were saying in the pregame, a bit of the forgotten player on that line, but he's certainly making a big splash today. It's got to be my player of the game so far. 
of the line. Played there by Owen Blythe. Back down low for Castellotto behind the net. Castellotto's got it on the backhand. Trying to find a man in front of the goal, but that'll get picked off. Skated onto there. Brar, back of the line for Stockdale. His shot got blocked. Stockdale, he'll hold that in a second time. Stockdale throws it down. Other way is Jordan Ewan. Ewan across the blue line. He'll stop up. Finds the trailer. The trailer is poke checked by Cotton. Cotton will break out two on two with Casalotto. Casalotto across the line. Drop for Brar. Brar into the slot. Shoots. Off the crossbar. The rebound. He scores. Talk about if you first don't succeed, try, try again. to get his green team on the board. First of all, Joey, what a shot by Brar, And then just to go retrieve that rebound and score again, excellent move. But I think if we say at first you don't succeed we, again, we might have to trademark it. It's quickly becoming a catchphrase, and we're just at ID camp. 2-1 is the score. Gray still leads, but green has life. Soda, he'll get poke checked. Here's a chance to break in for Gray. It's Jordan Wales. Lost the handle on that one to Freer. There's a chance right in front of the goal. Shot, great toe save made by Canduso and another great stop by the goaltender. Back of the line, Brassington. He lets go a shot, swallowed up and covered by Canduso. You know, they really... Calm things down for the side. This game could easily be 5-1. Canduso was incredibly valuable for his U18 team last year for Valley West. And that's just paying dividends here for Team Green in this little mini tournament we've got here at the South Surrey Arena. Here comes Gray, or pardon me, Green breaking out of their own zone. Soda trying to backhand it down low. Skated onto by Freer. Freer shoots, gloves save Burrows, and he'll snag that one and cover up. We haven't seen a lot of long. Juniors, smart plays whenever you see them. Gray will get stopped up at their own lines. Tate Taylor tried to clear that out. Be stopped up last second by Nagger, carried in by Speranza. Here's Mateo Speranza. Lachlan Freer on the other side, down from his point, gave that puck away. Here's a chance the other way. Breaking it out is Jordan Wales. Wales, a nice drop pass behind for Oatman. Oatman, he'll circle away from Freer. Freer lost the handle on it. Here's a chance back the other way. It's Jackson Hungle. Hungle in on a break. Shoots, he hit the cross. Here's another chance. Sparenz is in front of the net, but he couldn't get a stick on that one as it was shoulder height. Pinned up along the near side board, does Nagger lost the handle on that one, carried out by Magnuson. That'll find its way into neutral territory, played by Cash Dumka Jones. Dumka Jones tried to play that off the boards, gave the puck away. Sandu. In I believe that was Rain Jamison who got a stick on that one for, or pardon me, it was Amar Sandu for Team Green to get a stick on that. Gray, Cole Galata is in one on one with Max Woodward in the near side corner. Leaves behind for Jake Bongo. Bongo up top for Liam Magnuson. Magnuson nearly misplayed that one at the blue line. Linesman says it stayed in. That was a close one, Joey. Sandu. Leaves that puck behind. Markel threw that puck into the middle, gave it away. Held in one more time by Sandu. He finds Bongo. He's got Galata going to the net. Bongo can't get a shot off. Bongo one more time. Stopped. Made by Can Do So and he covers it up. If he shot once more, could we? Uh, okay, we'll, we'll save that one for if he scores. <laughs> Couple great chances there for Jake Bongo. Unable to solve the goaltender. Still a. 2-1 lead, and we will get a horn there. And it's time for a side switch.
So we have reached the halfway mark of this game. We're getting two 25 run time periods. You know what I see down there, Joey? By our man working the, working the clock? That's a number four Devon Tay of Sir Eagles jersey. A, an alumni, now a Stanley Cup. in goal for Team Green. He's the only one dressed for them. We're here in the second half of this bronze medal game. A 2-1 lead for Team Gray. Trying to work it out of his own zone. His own Blythe gave that puck away to Bongo. Bongo into the slot for Golata, and he'll be poke checked. Bongo again. Gets up to the blue line, makes a move to get around a defender. Bongo trying to walk his way down from the line into the slot, gave the puck away. Played in the corner by Blythe one more time. Long linear. Force that forward. Here's another chance here. Backhand pass in front and a great chance there set up by Sandu. Nobody home to bat that one home and make it 3-1. Looking for a lacrosse move, unable to get it up. Sandu down into the corner and back up top for Shahi. Shahi shot and that'll go off the shaft of the stick of Canduso and up into the netting and out of play. No, Joey, we weren't really able to watch yesterday. Man, that Zegers kid's destroying the game, huh? And then you get the fake lacrosse shot. Oh, that and, one's and, tough. And the NHL 06, as we talked about <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> That's right, Joey. Breaking out of their own zone. It was Savic Brar, but he threw that puck off the skate of a defender. That'll stay out. Thrown down low there by Jack Baker. Tate Taylor. For Samuels. Shoots, stop can do so. The rebound sits loose, but it's played by Blake Cotton over for Andrew Casalotto. Casalotto looks for Brar with a flip pass. Hail Mary can't find him. Gloved down by Brassington. Brassington back into his own zone. D to D pass. Played there by Tate Taylor back for Ty Brassington. Brassington just fed that puck up onto the tape of Freer. <laughs> Trapped up in the neutral zone. Gray looking to take possession here. Stolen away last second by Brar, and he'll take it for a skate in his own zone, but he's got a pair of Gray players on him. Forced out of the zone the second time around by Braden Nager. Cotton, he'll get wrestled to the ice, undetected by the official. Nice move through the neutral zone. That was Aiden Samuels with a nice little toe drag at the faceoff dot. There's another chance for him. Lost the handle on, into the slot, loose. Shot and fanned on. It flutters up, lands in the glove of Can Do So, and we will take a whistle off of that one. That was a very slick toe drag there by Aiden Samuels. Very small range of motion, but he managed to get it around. Like, he didn't go too wide, not too close. Managed to pull it all range. off within the Eagles' beak on the ice there. <laughs> Nearly lost it in the corner as Dumka Jones had troubles with it. That'll be picked up by Oatman. Oatman tried to feed it across, it's intercepted by Green, and they'll try to break it out of the zone, but one more interception by Lucas Robinstein. Here's Soda. Trying to break out of his own zone here. Kaz Soda. He'll flip that into the neutral zone. Played away. Real nitty-gritty hockey in the early parts of this second half, so to speak. Teams aren't getting chippy, but they're definitely starting to play a little bit more physical than they did in period one. 
Trapped in the neutral zone one more time. Soto will fire that down and go for a line change. Out of his goal to play that one will be Garen Wickstrom. Wickstrom leaves it behind for Liam Magnuson. Magnuson over for Robinstein. Robinstein, nice stretch pass ahead. Carried in the attacking zone by Oatman. Oatman lost the handle on that one. Back on the other side, it's... Flip that into the middle, but it was unable to reach Jackson Hungle. Jordan Wales, he was trying to cut to the front of that shot. Stopped by Canduso. The rebound is covered with the blocker hand of Canduso, a la Dominic Hoshik. There's that Jordan Wales agility again. He just can't really be stopped with it. He managed to get body position on him and cut right inside from all the way up. Very strong net driver. It's a very useful winger to have, Joey. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Green trying to break it out of their own zone here. Hungle will come back into his own zone to help out. Carried out. Here is Joel Plant. Plant across the blue line and it'll be called the last second for a late offside as Cooper Stockdale had to step on him. Dominant in the dot so far in this game. Dominant in the dot. Dominant everywhere, Joey. The shots are 18 to 4. Long stretch pass ahead. Here comes Alexander Sandu. Nice drop pass for Jake Bongo. Bongo tries to cut to the front of the goal. Stop. Oh, and they'll score. They'll just cram that one home. Dare I say, bingo, bango, Jake Bongo. He's been waiting to pull that one out of the repertoire all morning. They had a tough game against the yellow team and uh, I kept it, kept it locked and loaded in the holster there. A 3-1 lead for Team Gray after Jake Bongo adds to the Gray advantage. It's an important goal, Joey. With the score only 2-1, even though they've been so dominant, the game could have changed in a moment. They're gonna look to add to it again. In front, Bongo shoots, deflected wide. That'll be forced out into the neutral territory. Played there by Shahi. Shahi leaves behind. Can do so. Hungo lost the handle on that one. Skated onto by Nagger. He'll fire it up to the blue line, but not out. It's held in by Tate Taylor. Nagger tries to clear it a second time. Failed, but the third time will get it out. Brandon Nagger nearly got a chance there on the four check. Here's a long stretch pass ahead. In on a break. Dig, shoot. Stop by Can Do So. Joey, he read that all the way. Every shoulder fake, cut right to the backhand. Can Do So at his eye. Alone from the blue line in. Now, Joey, for our viewers, as a goaltender, what are they doing there? Well, you have to watch a bit of a combination of the both. I try to avoid the shoulders because you can get shoulder faked into next week if you're not too careful. <laughs> I'll, uh, Marty Turco getting gone in on uh, by uh, number 13, Pavel Datsuk. <laughs> or Thomas Volkun by Pavel Datsuk. Oh, there's too many of those. Basically, any goalie against Pavel Datsuk. We like you know? number 13s this we, weekend, don't we? We love 13s. Gray will try to steal that puck in the neutral zone and force that puck in. One more time, Jack Baker forces the puck into the attacking zone, but Green is going to force it out here. Dumka Jones turned the puck over. Up for Kaz Soda. Soda try to sidestep his man, gets around him. Stolen down low by Aiden Samuels for Gray, but it's stolen right back for Green. Gray will force it out now. And that'll be a big offside call there. Well, Joey, on a light note, is there a better hockey name in this camp than Jack Baker? Not a, I don't want to say a bench player, but like a 
80 U.S. hockey team sort of thing, you know? Exactly. If I heard that name, a miracle on ice, I'd believe it. And we have a tripping penalty coming up on the play here. We've got our second power play of the game. And it'll be Gray heading back to the man advantage. They had excellent puck movement on that last power play. They couldn't really find the right lane and get that high danger scoring chance. But they They'll force that puck out immediately. Great start to the penalty kill for Team Green as they look to answer back in this game. Here's Gray coming out of their own zone. Fanning on the initial chance was Luke and Robinson, but he'll get it going the second time. Up for Magnuson. Magnuson leaves it behind. Pass across Robinson again. Shoots tipped just wide of the goal by Jordan Ewan before it made its way to Canduso. Great job to hold the line there. It's fired in on goal, and Canduso is not going to take any chances with that one. We've seen a lot of great. Face off coming up to the left of Canduso. One by Gray, but they won it a little bit too well. That puck will find its way all the way down into their own zone. Two minutes remaining in the power play. Finds its way back to Magnuson at the line. Magnuson will go D to D. Robinstein fires that high off the glass. Long stretch all the way down. Did not make its way in for Andrew Casalotto. It went all the way down onto the goaltender. And Garen Wickstrom will wait behind. Casalotto's in on the four check, and Wickstrom will finally bump <laughs> that one along to Liam Magnuson. It was a bit of a miscommunication for Team Gray as they were looking to get the puck from their goaltender. A nice move made there by Bongo. In neutral territory, drops behind for Galata. Galata will be poke checked by Stockdale. Galata, he'll. Hesitation is not what you want to see when your goaltender is playing the puck. That miscommunication could be trouble, especially with the score still this close. Yeah, all it'll take is one for Green to get some momentum going again. Bongo go into the attacking zone one more time. Bongo, he'll walk the line. Feeds across, Markel. Markel into the middle, Galata down for Markel. Markel into the middle, shoots, he scores! Markel from Galata on a great passing play and a power play goal. Robbins on the goal song, it's great. Oh, who made that? I don't know, somebody who has great hair. Somebody with really great hair definitely I, made this goal song. I can see that. Yeah. A 4-1 lead for Team Gray here in the bronze medal game with 12.03 remaining in the period. They look to have this thing well in hand, but again, Green is very strong. They can come back in an instant. Working it around here. Galata leaves that puck behind. It'll be sent down low. Sharp angle shot goes wide of the goal. Behind his own net, it's Joel Plant. Plant into the middle. Carried there by Mateo Speranza. Speranza, he'll have his pocket picked last second there on a great defensive effort by guess who? Cole Galata. Braden Nager back into his own zone. Nager up for Joel Plant. Plant for Hungle. He'll get poke checked. Across the line, Taylor. Feathered it into the middle, shoots, great pad save by Canduso. Sandu. Sandu into the slot, he'll dump that into the far corner. Tate Taylor, Taylor. Threw it down low back for Sandu, he'll lose that one to Nagger. Held into the line by Taylor. Tate Taylor walks the line, D to D pass. 
Nice pass across. Baker shot just wide of the goal. Baker threw his hands up. He thought he had that one in. Nagger, he's been on the ice for a long time. He desperately needs to get to the bench. Be carried out here. Back the other way comes Joel Plant. He's got Speranza with him, as well as Hungel. Plant will go to the bench. Hungel and Speranza. Hungel for Speranza, and that'll be poke checked by Wickstrom. edge work. We don't like to use the term, but that's exactly what it is. It's fantastic. You know, there's a couple names that'll immediately come to mind when you think of those kind of movements there. I like to think that's a Miro Heiskanen play. I was thinking clearly Sammy Sallow, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Great looking to do a little bit more damage. Here's a long shot from the point, easily handled by the glove of Matt Canduso. As that came in from Lucas Robinstein, we'll take a whistle there. He didn't like what he saw there. Shut the play down, reset. The second period acting as the third. There's a pickoff by Casalotto and a partial break. Here's Andrew Casalotto trying to throw it into the middle, but the man will get poke checked, still gets a shot off, and Wickstrom had to be very careful with that chance. Can we start calling Andrew Casalotto a puck hound? Can we do that? I think it might be very. Like, it's. He's Chance for Castellano shoots, swallowed up, and we'll get another whistle there off of Wickstrom. We're not seeing a huge conver conversion rate on these shots, but he's making things happen. If you can generate high... Shot just wide. It'll be held in at the blue line by Parker Roscoe. Long shot, missed well wide and short on the blocker side. Dumka Jones brings that around to the other side. Played in the corner by Quaid Giroux. In the middle, he'll walk that in himself. A backhand chance that'll be played last second. Held into the line by Duncan Jones. He'll walk down the line, shoots, just missed on the blocker side. Soda into trying to play that one. He'll battle, loses the handle on it. Here's a chance back the other way for Team Gray. Fired into the attacking zone there by Jordan Wales. Duncan Jones behind his own net trying to play that one, but he's got Gray on him. It's a hard check thrown in the corner by Duncan Jones. Almost lost the handle on it. Here's another chance in. Casalotto. Partial break. Casalotto in deep. Tickles the twine and finds a hole in the goaltender's armor. He's not a very small guy, so I'll say the not so little engine that could. He just keeps going, keeps trying over and over. Determination is key. Picked off last second. Back the other way comes Cotton. Cotton, he's in with Brar. Oh, a chance there, stop the rebound, shot just wide. And the net was knocked off its moorings there, and the referee's gonna give it a quick whistle. You know, this is only a two goal deficit, Joey. I, I know the shots are pretty insurmountable, but this game can turn around quick. Runtime is tough, but the opportunity's there. That'll just find its way right back to the goaltender off the draw. Here's from the line, long shot off the leg of a defender and wide. Gray's gonna try and slow things down here. They got six minutes and 10 seconds to try and kill off in this play. Stolen by Brar. there's a shot over top of the goal. Side by Wickstrom. That'll find its way around for Jordan Ewan. 
Ewan, stretch pass across to the other side. Trying to cut into the middle there, but unable to get a shot off was Keegan Dunn. Here's Bongo now. Bongo trying to answer back for his team. They're down by a pair, but they can quickly storm back. Breaking into the attacking zone was Owen Blythe. He'll send it into the corner for Bongo. Bongo, he'll send that all the way back. Finds his way for Braden Nagger at the far point. That'll be kicked out of harm's way by a defender. Nagger back into the attacking zone. He'll just leave that one behind. Sent around the near side boards. It'll be up for Blythe at the near point. Bongo, he'll bump that along behind the goal. It's Tate Taylor controlling for Gray. Through that puck ahead for Cole Galata to try and work it out. Taylor, he's got Brassington going to the middle. Tate Taylor sends it around for Brassington on the other side. Two defensemen working, doing some work down low here for Team Gray. Take it away. Galata's going to pick him of that puck, but Galata can't control. It'll be taken away by Gray the second time around. Here's Alexander Sandu. He'll throw back at the line for Tate Taylor. Taylor, he'll make a move. Walks down, throw it in the middle. Shot, blocker save, can do so. 4.20 remaining in the period. Back of the line, D to D pass. Brassington for Taylor. Taylor throws it into the corner. Sandu into the middle. Unable to take the shot there. Was Bongo. Here's Cole Gallot in the corner. Robinstein's shot will be deflected wide and high of the goal. Played on the other side by Jake Bongo. He'll walk along the far side, boards up to the point, turns back. Bongo trying to force it down low. He'll get around Hungle, finds Gallot on the other side. Sandu. Hungle will wrestle that puck back. Here's a chance the other way for Gray. And there was nearly a, a own hit there. 3.15 left on the clock because we'll get a whistle for an offside. And it's a, still a 4-2 lead for Team Gray. But Green is gonna is starting to, their chances are starting to bubble up at the surface here. They have a chance to, if they can get a goal here within the next minute, you, you have to think they have a chance to come back here. There's time. The momentum hasn't really been sliding their way as much the last couple minutes, but if they can be opportunistic and make things happen, there's, all, there's always a chance. Looking to throw a monkey wrench into the plans is Jack Baker, who gained the attacking zone with speed, but he'll have his pocket picked by Jackson Hungel, who fires that out of the zone. Casalotto, he's in there with Speranza. Speranza steals that puck. Speranza shoots just wide of the goal. Nagger throws down low for Casalotto. Nagger will come in there to help it himself. Stolen away by Speranza. Speranza threw it across and unable to get his stick on that one was Lachlan Freer who came down from the blue line. 2.20 left in the third. Here's a partial two on one. The pass across and back and they can't get a shot on goal. Gray trying to still work some magic here. Hungel behind his own net trying to work it out for Green here. He's got a pair of Grays on him. He'll try a bank pass. Goes all the way down to a Gray defender in his own zone. Trying to skate it out here is Jack Baker. Baker through the puck ahead. A minute 50 remaining. Here's Braden Nagger. Nagger stopped at the hash marks, tried to make a play, lost the handle on it. Back the other way is Jordan Wales. Wales across the blue. Wales holds, stops into the middle. Finds Samuels. Samuels will stop up. Threw it back to the point. Markel over to Shahi. His shot off the shaft of the stick and into the netting and out of play. And we'll take a whistle with a minute 23 remaining in the third or second. You know, Joey, I'm really thinking back to Saturday when we saw a lot of frustration and passion from Jake Bongo. Things weren't really going the way, uh, the right way for him and his great team. But today, they really are flying. That patience came with that passion. And, uh, and they've converted. They've really converted, Joey. About to enter the final minute, still a 4-2 lead for Team Gray as they look to lock up Bronze. Here's a chance for Brar. His shot got blocked. Picked up by Cotton. 
Cotton, he'll get wrestled into the boards. Kaz Soda will skate onto that one, but he's pinned up by a pair of greys. Soda comes out with that puck. He'll try to force his way into the middle. Couple nice moves, lost the handle on it. Here's a chance back the other way for Team Gray, it's Jordan Wales. Wales into the attacking zone, look for a toe drag, couldn't get it to go. Wales, he'll walk his way back up to the blue line, lost the handle on it. Here comes Cotton, Cotton with 26 left. Cotton tried to cut to the middle, lost the handle on it. Brar back for Cotton. Cotton looking to get a shot off in the slot. He's tied up, tries it again, still can't get the shot to go. It's in a sea of legs, nobody has it. It's pulled out by Brar. Brar tries to throw it towards the net, it gets blocked. Down into the corner for Cotton, eight seconds remaining. That'll be stolen away there by Aiden Samuels. He'll take it for a skate and that should do it here. A 4-2 final here as we get through the 50 minutes of stop time that we've had. Now, I believe we will still get an additional five minutes of three on three overtime, not sudden death. I don't want to speak too soon, Joey. I don't either. <laughs> These players don't appear to be going anywhere. I think we were calling it the extra frame Saturday. Don't want to call it overtime. Yeah, we're going to call it the extra frame. So we're going to have an additional five minutes here of three on three. A linesman has just skated over to inform our rink attendant. The Zamboni doors are closing now. try to start things out strong the way they played most of this game breaking into the zone is Sandu Sandu can't get a clean shot off back the other way comes Jackson Hungel Hungel's in him with speed he'll stop up yet Keegan Dunn fall down throws that all the way back it'll go for Joel Plant, who takes it at center pass back for Hungel Hungel's in with a partial break Hungel shoots blocker save Wickstrom Hungel picks up his own rebound takes it for escape behind the cage Threw it back for Plant. Plant takes it cleanly, but he can't settle it down. Plant will steal that puck back. Plant's in there one on two. Tried to get a backhand pass into the middle. Didn't get it to go. Hungle's back there with Dumka Jones. Alexander Sandu. He'll battle with Jackson Hungle. These two teams swapped teams and numbers, did those two players before this game started. Thrown back of the line, Keegan Dunn. He'll walk the blue line, threw it back. They'll regroup now, it's Tate Taylor. Taylor into the attacking zone. Taylor holds, tries to find a lane, but he'll be poke checked by Jackson Hungle on a great defensive effort there. Taylor will try to steal that puck right back from him behind the net. Taylor sends Hungle into the boards and steals. Galata into the middle. It's Bongo. Bongo in for Galata, Galata. Try to make a nice move there. Look for a Forsberg on the fly and a great toe save by Can Do So. And now it's going to be Cooper Stockdale trying to slow things down. It's ahead for Mateo Speranza. Speranza across for Cotton. Cotton's shot gets blocked by uh, back checking Jake Bongo on a great defensive effort by number 12 and Gray. Pass up for Cole Galata. 3.04 remaining in the extra frame. Galata waits for help. Bongo's joined the rush. Galata for Bongo. That'll go off the crossbar. Finds his way into the net. And a very strange bounce on that one. It went up, bounced off the arm of Canduso and found its way into the net. Referee pointed goal. What an odd sequence of events that was. How high did that go up? I, I don't think it hit the netting. It never went into the mesh, no. I'm not even sure who we're gonna credit that goal for. I'm gonna give it to Galata, I think. I was thinking Pongo. <laughs> Want a rock, paper, scissors on it? I don't think the refs know either.
Here's Blake Cotton collecting that puck behind his own net. He'll feed it ahead for Matteo Speranza. Speranza into the attacking zone. Drops that one behind. Carried in by Blythe. Blythe for Cotton. Cotton back for Blythe. Blythe in the middle. Shoots. Tipped on the way through by Speranza. And that will be stopped on the way through by Wickstrom. You know, all throughout this game and from Saturday's games, Matteo Speranza has been a creative pass first player. Uh, not a lot really happened for him throughout this game, so we're seeing him shoot first a lot more. He's not looking for that extra pass as much. Speranza definitely a player who can put the puck in the net, but prefers to put it on his teammate's stick. Here's a chance for Gray to break into the zone as Robinstein got taken for a ride there by Nagger. Minute 22 remaining in the extra frame as Gray elects to regroup in neutral territory. It's Lucas Robinstein. Well, three on three is very much a possession game, Joey. 100% it is. Here comes Robinstein into the attacking zone. He's got a man with him the pass and a great stop by Can Do So. Matthew Can Do So is definitely making an impression during this weekend. He's not getting the win here but he has been tremendous between the pipes. He's made a lot of great stops, and his positioning has been impeccable. I've got to say, I feel lucky that the green team didn't have another goalie dress. We just get to see more Candusa. 41 seconds remaining here in the extra frame. Here's Nagar in on a partial break. He'll throw the pass across, unable to get a clean shot on goal there, was Quaid Giroux. Here's Nagar again. He'll crisscross with Soda. Nagger trying to go to the front of the net. He's got Giroux there in front with his stick down. Tried to throw it to the front of the net. That hit the pad of Wickstrom and fell behind. Here's another chance. In front, Soda scores! That's got to feel good. Ended on a bang. And we're going to just count down the final seconds on the clock here. And that will do it. The extra frame will end 0-0. Well, that was a lot of fun, Joey. We enjoy the good three-on-three. Three. It didn't really have an impact on the score at all, but players got to go out and be a little more creative and uh, see a little bit more explosiveness. So there you have it. After regulation and the extra frame combined, it'll be a 5-3 score in favor of Team Gray. Gray will take the bronze medal of this miniature tournament we've had here at our Elite ID camp. We will step away for a little bit. When we come back, we will be proud to bring you the finals of the 2022 Surrey Eagles Elite ID Camp gold medal game between Team Blue and Team Yellow. We'd like to thank you for tuning into this broadcast. We will be right back at it in about 10, 15 minutes for the gold medal game. It's James and Joey. Thanks for stopping by, folks. We'll catch you next time.
We are preparing to go for gold here at the South Surrey Arena in the gold medal matchup and our final game of the 2022 Surrey Eagles Elite ID Tournament between Team Blue and Team Yellow. For the entire broadcast crew here in the perch, my name is Joey Pitt, joined alongside James Percy. And we saw Gray take care of Green in the opening matchup this afternoon with a 4-2 victory, 5-3 if you include the extra frame. Meanwhile, we're looking at these two teams. One of them will be going home the with bragging rights and some serious, uh, how we'll say, good looks from the coaching brass to try and make an impact and find their way back here for training camp in the fall. You know, Joey, with the way this camp tournament, whatever you'd like to call it, is structured, uh, the win isn't always the thing that's going to get you the most attention and the, the, the best looks from the coaching staff and management, but it certainly does help. This game, I'll be watching the goaltending for the yellow team. We saw excellent performances on that end. That crease was dialed. Angelo Zoll and Jaden Sharma, both fantastic on Saturday. The two of them combining for a two goals against in the entire game that they played on Saturday combined. Both of them making fantastic saves, and it's not like they weren't facing shots. The two goaltenders were very busy in their game. Well, and if you count the record through the weekend on Sunday's games, which we unfortunately did not broadcast, uh, the yellow team has a perfect 3-0 record going into this game, led by Ante Zlomislik, and uh, they are just flying. Look at it maintain a perfect record with a win tonight. Both of these teams looking to get their final impressions in on the coaching staff, and this is the final place to do it. All eyes in Surrey Junior Hockey is on this game between these two teams. We will step aside when we come back. The gold medal matchup in the 2022 Surrey Eagles Elite ID Camp. From the perch at the South Surrey Arena, it's Joey and James. We'll be back in a moment.
Welcome back inside the South Surrey Arena as we get set for the gold medal game between Team Blue and Team Yellow. Let's take a look at the starting goal tenders for this afternoon's matchup. Starting goal for Team Blue is number 31, Liam Hollett. He's been very good across this weekend, but to outdo the goal tenders on the other side is going to be quite a task. Starting goal here will be number one, Angelo Zoll. He, along with his goaltending partner, Jaden Sharma, have been fantastic during this weekend tournament. Yeah, just Puck steady Eddie play and highlight reel saves coming from Zoll and Sharma. Puck is down. Game is underway. This is the gold medal matchup in the 2022 Elite ID Camp. Final chance to get some good impressions in for the coaching staff and make a lasting impression to the parents and fans who have made their way out to the South Surrey Arena on a rainy Monday. Yellow looking to get it underway right away. Breaking into the attacking zone, Zach Wagnon. Sends it around into the far corner. Played down low by Anthony Carone. Carone gets it now. Into the middle. Backhand chance. That'll be blocked. The rebound sits loose. Stop made there. As Auntie Slomslick got his first chance on goal a mere 43 seconds into this opening period. And Slomislik trying to get things going the way he's done for much of this tournament. You know, Joey, Wagner and Zlomas, like really stand out for this yellow team, but on Saturday they were very much a scoring by committee squad. I'm curious to see if that trend continues here. Face off coming up to the right of Hollett. We have one forward by Blue, and they're going to try and get out of the zone here. Joven Brar. He'll just fire that one forward. Yellow will quickly take control right back. It's Logan Johnston in his own zone. Johnston, he'll get stopped up at the red line. Here's a chance back the other way for Blue. It's Nishan Parmar. Parmar across for Bebequa. Tried to throw it back for Parmar, but he wasn't ready for the pass. Parmar will glove that down in the corner. Tried to throw it up top. It's knocked down with a high stick, but it's played now. Nishan Parmar threw that puck down low. Parmar makes a couple nice moves. Lost the handle on that puck. Stolen away by Braden Willis. Willis will fire that puck forward. Tried to find Ryden Evers, but it was just out of his reach. Skating back to play that one is Kalen Adderlini. Adderlini a long stretch pass for Parmar. Parmar's in one on three, and he will lose the handle on that one. Blue holds on to that puck, however. Fired into the opposite corner by Miles Bergen. Long shot on goal, easily handled by Angelo Zoll, and he'll get his first stop of the hockey game. Seeing a lot of quick puck, move, puck movement from the blue team so far. No conversion just yet, but a lot of speed, a lot of quick passes. These two teams have made it to the final for a reason. And it looks like offensively, blue has the early advantage. They'll be forced back to their own zone. However, it's Jack Sears. Sears fed it up for Marcus Gill. Gill ahead, here's Miles Bergen into the attacking zone, pulls a nice toe drag, tries to find a lane. Through that loose puck across for Alec McDonald. McDonald tried to fire it down low. He'll have another chance to do so, but it'll get blocked a second time around. Blue will keep that in the zone for Bud for how much longer? It finds its way onto the save of Ben Thornley Hall. Thornley Hall looked ahead for Ryden Evers just out of his reach, but try to skate onto that one was Jacob Morrison. Morrison, he'll rotate down low for Evers. Evers lost the handle on that one. He'll get rung around, but held in at the blue line by Michael McIntyre. McIntyre sends that one on goal, turned aside by Hollett. Puck is loose in the far corner. Yellow will gain control. That'll be turned over. Chance for Blue to break it out. Yellow won't let that happen for very long. They're back into the attack zone. Shot just over top of the goal as Zlama Zlomislik let that one go. Bode Pearson in his own zone. Pearson of the Northwest Hawks. Nice feed ahead. Jacob Bonkowski lost the handle on that puck. Yellow will break it back the other way. Turnover. Here comes Logan Lorenz into the attacking zone. He's got Jacob Bonkowski with him. Lorenz tried to force that to the front of the net, and it'll be gloved down by Angelo Zoll, and he'll take a whistle. You know, these two teams are really feeling each other out so far. It seems to be very, very much a back and forth. Wouldn't you agree, Joey? 100%. I believe Blue has had the advantage so far, but... Yellow is getting their opportunities here. Another chance for Yellow to break it into the zone. Zlomislik lost the handle on that one. Blue looks to capitalize. 
almost held in the zone, but they'll fire it back in. Drew Sakunis will be back to play that one. Sakunis gave that puck away. Threw that right onto the tape of Zach Wagnett. He'll just fire that puck in. Just missed the goal. Bode Pearson tried to ring that one around, gave the puck away. Good job by Blue to recover. They'll try to break the puck out of the zone. Nice pass across, breaking it in is Sakunis. Thrown down low, they got a man going to the slot. Man in front, Lorenz can't get a shot off. It's loose in front of the goal and Yellow will move that one out at Zachary Wagnon. Wagnon will have his pocket picked at the blue line. Yellow will have to regroup here. It's Landon Hilditch taking it for escape, finds Liam Hunks. Hunks back for Hilditch. Hilditch fires that puck ahead. It'll be tipped into the attacking zone as Hilditch goes for a line change. Skated onto by Bode Pearson. He's one on three against a handful of four checkers, but Pearson will come out with that puck. Feeds it across with a nice pass. Breaking into the attacking zone is Nishan Parmar. Parmar for Bevacqua. A man fell down in front of the net. I believe that's McCarthy Richardson. Trying to get a good chance there. Could not capitalize. Another chance for Blue to try and enter the zone. Bevacqua lost the handle on that puck. Goes right to Ollie Gabrielson. Long stretch pass just out of the reach of a stretch Justin Brar. Brar will try to still make a play behind the net for Braden Willis. Willis sends it around. It'll find its way back for Justin Brar in the near side corner. Brar up to the hash marks. He'll throw to the point. Dumped down low by Braden Willis. Coming down for the line is Ollie Gabrielson to play that puck. Gabrielson will lose the handle on that one. It'll be taken out by McCarthy Richardson. Ahead for Nishan Parmar. Parmar been one of the standouts of this tournament. Parmar again, he'll throw it into the middle. Chance scores! A fantastic setup there by Nishan Parmar. Puck got thrown right into the slot and Angelo Zoll didn't have a shot at that shot that beat him low to the blocker side there. And it was Ryland Bonkowski got the shot off there. One nothing lead for Blue to start this gold medal game off. You know, Ryland Bonkowski isn't the Bonkowski we've been highlighting this whole tournament, but well, he really started things off nicely there. And you're right, the ice is tilted a little bit in the Blue team's direction. Blue's gonna try and add to their lead in the early stages. Coming in with a burst of speed is Joven Brar. Brar dumps it into the near side corner, picked up on the other side by Cole Miller of the U17 Fraser Valley Thunderbirds. Here's a chance for Blue here. Loose puck in the corner for Miles Bergen, he'll send it down low. Up top, Brar holds, wrist shot, swallowed up by Zoll and he'll cover that one up. It's a nice quick save for Zoll to make right after letting in a goal. You wanna get a feel for things again and rebuild that confidence. You saw him flicking the puck in his glove, that's how you get that swagger going again. Sitting at the top of the crease, riding high, it looks like. The long shot and stop made by the stick of Zoll. Great positioning there. Chance for Yellow to try to break this puck back out. Blue trying to work it out of their own zone as Alec McDonald lost the handle on that puck. There's a hard check thrown in the defensive zone there. Here comes Blue back the other way. It's Miles Bergen. He'll get ridden into the boards there. Bergen gets the puck back. Finds the trailer. It's Marcus Gill. Gill will wrestle his man to the ice as he took a run at Jacob Morrison. Back the other way comes Yellow. Cutting it into the middle. It's Logan Johnson. Backhand chance. Shot over top of the goal by Ryden Evers. And here comes another chance for Team Blue. A man's coming in one on three. He'll fall to the ice undetected by the official. Back and forth at a breakneck speed. Back the other way comes Yellow. Into the near side corner. Pass in front and unable to get a clean shot off was Michael McIntyre. McIntyre again into the middle. Shot just wide of the goal. Auntie Zlomislik looking for another one. But to no avail. Still a 1-0 lead for Team Blue as they look to add to it. Jacob Bonkowski, up top, Trent Wilson. Throws that puck over, Sakunis. Down low for Ryland Bonkowski. Ryland Bonkowski, backhander down low for Jacob, can't find him. Picked off by Yellow, back they come, it's Ryan Evers. Evers will chip that puck ahead for Logan Johnson. Johnson with a burst of speed, he's with Zlomislik, and he can't get a shot off, he'll be tied up last second by Sakunis. 
Blue is going to try and slow things down and regroup here. Jacob Onkowski, nice pass across. Breaking it into the attacking zone is Schwartz. Shot just wide of the goal, and, the, and that will knock the net off its moorings and will take a whistle there. He hit the net hard. That water bottle even came rolling off. Talk about momentum. Logan Lorenz taking a hard spill into the goal post there. He seems to be okay as he skates back to the bench, as do his teammates as they go for the full line change. Played a little over 10 minutes here at the South Surrey Arena here for the gold medal game. A 1-0 lead for Team Blue. And they're busy looking for more in the attacking zone. It's Antonio Bebequa working out of the near side corner. Pass in front. But Richardson couldn't get a shot off. From the line, Adderlini. He let that one go, went wide. Backhander out of harm's way onto the tape of Zach Wagnon. He'll come into the attacking zone. He's got Justin Brar with him. Wagnon, he'll circle. Feeds the late man trailing in. Wagnon. Far hash marks, goes down low. Wraparound chance stopped, the rebound is stopped as well. A couple great chances there for Justin Brar, but he can't solve the goaltender. You know, smart move for Justin Brar to keep going at it. A lot of people would say that stuffing opportunity when the pad's right there might not really be worth it, but the smallest lift of the leg and that puck's going in. Not only that, when you have a player banging at you like that as a goaltender, you will occasionally lose your post. There's a long shot tipped just wide of the goal by Wagnon. Walking the line. Gabrielson through to cross. And that'll find its way back into the goaltender hall and he'll cover. Wagnon almost had the puck drift out there. I Honestly, my eyes might be betraying me, but I thought that would be going out. If they scored and this was the NHL, that would definitely be a coach's challenge offside review. Thank goodness it's only an ID camp, eh? Back the other way, comes Blue, it's Bevacqua trying to force that puck forward, but he'll quickly get shut down. Richardson, he'll gain the blue line and dump that puck in. He's in there with Bevacqua and Nishan Parmar. However, coming out with it will be Landon Hildich. He'll force that ahead for Zach Wagnon. Wagnon across on the other side onto the tape of Anthony Calrone. Anthony Carone tried to wrap around. Thought better of it. Threw it across, and there was Ollie Gabrielson, but he couldn't get a shot off. Back the other way comes Antonio Bebequa. Bebequa into the zone, shoots, blocker saves Zoll. The rebound is thrown to the front of the net, and unable to get a stick on that one was Miles Bergen. Bergen will go down low to steal that puck. Tries to chip it down low. It'll be stolen away last second by Nash Walters. Walters is going to skate this puck out himself. Throws that puck back into the slot. No yellow home for that one. And it'll find its way all the way back down into yellow territory. Nice pass, cross seam. Into the attacking zone comes Carter Dixon. Trying to force a shot there. Blocker save made by Hollett. As Nash Walters tried to roof that thing from close range. Here they come again, it's Braden Willis. Willis lost the handle on that one. Back the other way comes Blue. They'll cross the line, pass for the trailer. Across, and unable to get a stick on that one was Devin Mahill. Round on the other side, Blue trying to work out of the far corner. Mahill takes a check there. Nash Walters, he'll try to force that forward. Gets as far as the blue line, long slap shot in. Stopped and covered by Angelo Zola, and will take a whistle. Nice work by Zola to just settle things down. There were a couple pass options there, but his team was a little bit frazzled. Good to just reset the play for his guys and let them let them get after it, get the puck going the other way. Well, as a defense, you can get a little bit frazzled, as you said, when you have that constant pressure. It's a smart move by the goaltender to get a quick cover on that puck, allows a line change, and his defenders to get their tired legs off the ice. Here they go again. Long shot in from Lorenz, that'll get deflected up into the netting and out of play. That reset didn't quite go as the yellow team wanted it there. A little bit of a cycle and rolling around the outside of the zone for the Blues. You hope this reset goes a little better. Lock and load. Bonkowski will come in to steal that puck off the draw and he'll send it into the far corner. It'll get rung around, but will be played on the other side by Team Yellows. They'll try to force this puck out of the zone. 
Bode Pearson will play that in from center, but he'll fire that in and well off the helmet of Lorenz and out of play. So Joey, help me out here. Are, is the blue team just playing that great or are the yellow side just tr still trying to find their game a bit? I think it could be a combination of the two. Blue has been carrying the play since the opening puck drop. Yellow still trying to find their legs. However, all it'll take is one chance for Yellow to get a little bit of confidence, and this is a brand new hockey game. Exactly, just a one goal deficit. Lorenz Not insurmountable. Will leave that puck behind. Trent Wilson. Back for Logan Lorenz. Lorenz will get run into the boards there. Back for Pearson. Pearson's shot will get blocked on the way. Back the other way comes Yellow as they look to respond in this game. Into the attacking zone, and Jacob Morrison is going to take a hard knee-to-knee -knee check there, and that will draw the ire of the official, and Bode Pearson will head straight to the penalty box. And we will have our first power play of the game, and it'll be coming up for Yellow. After Jacob Morrison took a scary knee-on-knee -knee check from Bode Pearson there. Nice to see he uh, got back up just fine. Hair flowing in the wind, as always. I was about to say, J Jacob Morrison, a lot of fight in the guy, and probably the best flow on the ice in this entire ID camp. Yellow won the draw, but they tried to throw it back to the point. Hilditch not ready for that pass. They'll have to regroup. Finds his way to Zach Wagner. He'll try to work things out from his own zone to start this power play. Here's Zach Wagner with a burst of speed. He'll turn on the Jets. Wagner, he'll throw that towards the net. Gets deflected up over top of the goal. Around on the other side, Liam Hunks. D to D for Landon Hilditch. Down low, Justin Brar. Brar working his way along the far half boards. Brar throws her down low. Into the middle. Here's a chance for Hunks. Shoots over top of the goal and out of play. It was a relatively high danger scoring chance for the yellow side. That's the kind of shift they need to stay in this game. Great chance there for Hunks. Just shot her over top. Goaltender Hollett may have gotten a piece of that one. I think he did as the faceoff stays in the attacking zone for Team Yellow. Wagnon threw that one across for Evers. Hunks across for Hilditch. Hilditch will take it for a skate around behind. Hilditch switches. Hilditch back up where he started. Around and around, he finds Justin Brar in the far corner. Here comes Justin Brar. Threw it up top for Liam Hunks. Hunks fakes the shot. Back for Brar. Brar at the right faceoff circle. Lost it in his feet. He elects to throw it into the corner for Zach Wagnon. Wagnon looks for a man in front of the net. He had Ryden Evers there, but he couldn't feed him the puck. Evans will get that puck now. And Evers, unable to play that one cleanly, threw it back to the point for Liam Hunks, who couldn't take that pass. They'll try it again. Ryden Evers across the blue line. Drop pass for Justin Brar. He wasn't ready for it. Wagnon skates onto it. Here's Zach Wagnon. Nice, a nice spin move around Antonio Bevacqua. Wagnon throws it down low, tries to force it to the front of the net, lost the handle on it, and Bevacqua will force it out as far as center. Skating onto that one is Ollie Gabrielson. Gabrielson, he'll backhand that one into the neutral zone. Threw it right onto the tape of Nash Walters. Walters threw it back at the half wall. Carone to the point. D to D, Gabrielson. Gabrielson tries to find a lane, shoots, he scores! What a great shot there by Ollie Gabrielson. Ties this game up on the power play. And great shot, great opportunity, Joey. Great shot, great opportunity. Uh, Liam Hollett, he's a tall goaltender, tried to cut off the top of the net as much as he could, but gets beaten with a perfect shot high to the stick side. And it's a 1-1 game on the power play. Blue's gonna try and answer back right away. It'll be fired down low by Jack Sears. Nash Walters tried to play it to himself, lost the handle on it to the goal scorer, Ollie Gabrielson. Sears still trying to work some magic down low, but it'll be forced out of the zone. Here comes Anthony Carone. Carone into the attacking zone. Carone threw it across, and unable to get a shot off was Nash Walters. Walters will get wrestled to the ice there, no to call on the play. Here comes Blue. McHeel 
into the attacking zone. Mahil trying to work it down low. Circles around the net, fell down, no call on the play. Stolen away, Ben Thornley Hall. Tried a clearing pass ahead, got picked off before it found its way to Caron. Cole Miller now, he'll try to break things up for Team Yellow. Tried a cross rink pass, went right into the kick blades of Brar. Here's another chance, fired just wide there by Lorenz. Carone tries to clear that puck, lost the handle on it. Here's Lorenz, shot, hit the crossbar, the rebound loose in front of the goal, shot just wide. I don't think he got a shot off the second time around from the slot. Yellow try to break this thing out again. Logan Johnston threw that puck ahead. Into the attacking zone comes Walters. Walters spins off the check of Bode Pearson. He'll have a man come in to give him a hand. It was Logan Johnston. Walters, he has that puck down low. Walters tried to feed that ahead, couldn't do so. Back the other way comes Blue. Nice burst of speed here for Trent Wilson. Wilson tried to feed it into the middle there, unable to find Bonkowski. Here's Lorenz. Lorenz working his way up the far board, lost the handle on that puck. Chance back the other way for Yellow. Stops up, surveys his options, threw it into the middle. Unable to get a good shot off there. Slomislik into the middle. Nobody can get a play on that one. Slomislik gets a backhand chop on that one. And diving like a shortstop to get the glove on that one was Liam Hollett. And he'll grab a cover on that one. Joey, I'm really liking the play of Liam Hollett so far. Playing aggressive when he needs to, deep in his crease when he needs to. Yes, he did let in that one goal stick side, but he's rebounded well and come out strong. Look at him standing at the top of his crease. And that is a big body between those pipes. You know, the days of putting the big kid in goal are over. You want to get the most tall, athletic dude you can find. That's right. I wouldn't say I'm built for that position. Oh, you got to know, old five foot nine Joey Pitt's the perfect goaltender, right? <laughs> Any level, I'm ready to go. I can back up Spencer Martin. Let's go, Abbotsford. Blue's going to try and work this puck out of their own zone. Breaking it in, Sakunas. Lost the handle on that puck. Richardson tried to force something. Parmar's in there as well. Richardson for Parmar. Shoots. Stop made. The rebound is cleared out of harm's way and a great defensive effort by Liam Hunks. Here comes Hunks trying to break it out himself. Feeds ahead for Logan Johnston. Johnston lost the handle on that puck for Ryland Bonkowski. Bonkowski fed that one ahead for Nishan Parmar. Parmar across the blue line ahead for... Into the middle, shot scores! Richardson! The play in the corner really took all of the defensive attention over in deep. We just left Richardson wide open for a perfectly placed one-timer bottom right. And the workhorse on that play was Drew Sakunas. He picked the puck up in his own end, carried it all the way down, went into the corner, found a man all alone right in the slot, and made no mistake to make this 2-1. Blue is back up top in the gold medal game. Joven Brar threw back into his own zone. Adderlini lost the handle on that one. Here's a chance stop made by Hollett. On that a horrible turnover in their own zone, put the puck right onto the tape of Logan Johnston, or part of me that was riding Evers, but he's unable to capitalize and beat the goaltender. Joey, that's how you rebound after getting scored on. You hound pucks and take every chance you can. The old Pat Quinn coaching strategy. You don't call a timeout, you just go and score a goal. Can't argue with that. Then again, though, it helps when you can put Pavel Burry on the ice. <laughs> Yellow's going to try and break this puck out of their own zone. It's Zach Wagnon behind his own net. Wagnon, he'll backhand that up. Jacob Morrison, try to clear that puck out of the zone, can't do it. Held in by Brar. Brar tries to throw that puck in the middle. Nearly skated onto you there by Jack Sears. Here's a chance back the other way for Jacob Morrison, but the puck bounces off his stick before he can get a clean look. Morrison behind the net, leaves it behind. Skated around by Ryden Evers. Back of the line, Hilditch lets it go, tipped on the way through and swallowed up by Liam Hollett and he'll take that whistle. Thirty-five, thirty-eight remaining here in the gold medal game. Eight, seven of the shots and a two-one lead, both in favor of Team Blue. What a pace to this game so far, Joey. Both teams are playing great hockey. 
We hope you're having as good a time watching it live on YouTube as we are here in person. That's the first icing I've seen in quite some time. Like yeah, the it, passing has been very crisp. Guys haven't been hemmed in their own zone very much. Everybody's playing very strong possession games. Not a lot of Hail Mary passing, so thus not a lot of icing calls. After what we've seen from these two teams on Saturday, it's no surprise. These two teams were clearly the most dominant, and it's showing right now with this chess match on the ice. Puck forced out into neutral territory. That'll be played there by Blue. Adderlini had a couple of issues there trying to get it out, but they do now. Here comes Miles Bergen across the blue line. Bergen will wait for help, try to throw a puck into the middle, but his man was unable to get a stick on the ice. That'll be tipped on the way through. No icing on, on the play. It'll be played by Cole Miller behind the net. Miller will leave it behind. Round on the other side, Braden Willis. Puck is thrown ahead. Carone to the open wing, skated onto by Braden Willis. Justin Brar's in there on the four check, trying to steal that puck away. Fourth ahead by Carone. Carone, nice toe drag into the middle. Backhander swallowed up by Hollett, and he'll cover. What a move and what a way to cut to the middle. You got to think, though, the goaltender kind of knew he was going to shoot after that move rather than pass to his open winger. When you have a goaltender sliding in the butterfly like that, he's following you the entire way. If you throw a pass, I'd say seven out of eight times, you're going to, as long as you can get that shot on net, you will beat the goaltender. There's a chance in front for Brar. It hit a couple legs and it stopped by the goaltender, Hollett. Lorenz will force that puck forward now. Lorenz in the corner, trying to throw it back to the point, just comes outside as Marcus Gill couldn't hold. You're close though. Oh no, definitely. As my grandfather says, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Rather that puck ahead, Jacob Onkowski will just tip that one forward. Goes in one on one with Michael McIntyre in the near side corner. Lorenz coming in to give him a hand. Comes back out. Played there by Marcus Gill. Gill will lose the handle on that one as Walters is in on the four check. Pass in front and a great back check from Trent Wilson will shut that play down. Chance back the other way for Blue. Pass across for Lorenz. That'll get poke checked last second. Chance for Yellow to come back with numbers. Into the attacking zones. Lamaslick leaves behind. Shot swallowed up and covered by Hollett. Really impressed with the goaltending of both ends here, Joey. Headstrong play from both tenders. Pinned up in front of the benches. It'll be pulled out by Nishan Parmar. Parmar will take it for a skate himself. He's had a great tournament as well. Parmar will get that loose puck back, finds Bebequa. Bebequa will be poke checked. Back the other way, it's the other 13. Auntie's Lomas but he'll lose the handle on that one as well. Liam Hunks, do that puck ahead. Breaking in is Landon Hilditch. He'll gain the blue line. He's got a man going to the net, it's Walters. Hilditch, he'll turn in the corner. Hilditch wrestles that puck away from Bebequa, down low. Sakunas, stretch pass ahead. Antonio Bebequa, he'll regroup behind his own goal. Sakunas, stretch pass. Parmar chips that over the defender, stick to himself, but he couldn't get to that puck in time. Very creative move. Loose puck into the slot. Skated onto there, ever shoot, stop, made. I'd really like to point out that today in these bronze medal games and gold medal games, we've seen a lot more creativity and a lot more moves being pulled in on Saturday. I think I would factor that to these guys really know where each other are after playing a few games with each other. That chemistry is a little more on display, so you can actually put those extra elements of your game in. Yellow regrouping in their own zone. We'll have about 30 seconds until we'll get a 
a side switch at her halfway mark. Yellow trying to break this puck out of their own zone. It's Logan Johnston at the half wall. Feeds that puck across, Ryden Evers into the attacking zone. He's got Wagner with him. Finds the trailer, in, shoots over top of the goal by Gabrielson. There's a chance in front, Gabrielson and a great pad save made by Hollett. And that will do it for the first half. Puck just keeps coming to Gabrielson, Joey. Goaltenders will switch sides. Jaden Sharma now in goal for Team Yellow. And Dryden DeMello now in goal for Team Blue. We saw an excellent save from Jaden Sharma on Saturday where he went post to post, leg, leg push, and he saved it with his chest, kept his full torso pushed out. Very impressive athleticism from the young goaltender. We get set for the final 30 minutes here. A 2-1 lead for Team Blue. Final 30 minutes plus the additional extra frame that we've been doing. Tight game so far. Very tight game. Eight or 10 to eight are the shots in favor of Yellow, but they trail two to one in this game. Yellow will try to get to work early as they look to tie this thing up. Gaining the zone is Caron. Caron leaves behind for Justin Brar. Brar backhands it down low for Caron. Caron back for Brar. Brar tried to force that to the front of the net for Morrison, but it got picked off. Here's Brar down low. He looks for Morrison again. In front! Shot just wide. I believe that might have been cleared out of harm's way by the goaltender Dryden DeMello. Back the other way comes Blue. Here's a chance, Brar shot over top of the goal. It's gonna be held in here, D to D pass. McIntyre holds, shoots, stop made, the rebound trickles just wide. There's a trip on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Thrown back into their own zone. Yellow looking to get some damage done here before they head to the power play can negate the call if they score a goal. A lot of great passing here. Somebody's stick got launched up into the stratosphere. Finds his way back to the point, it's Liam Hunks. Hunks, he'll pivot at the, at the blue line. Tried to take a shot, didn't get through. Finds its way back. Long shot from the point by Honks is stopped. The rebound, Walters is stopped. Great pressure by Yellow. They haven't let Blue touch this puck yet. The second they do, a penalty will be called. And we'll finally get the touch on that one. Penalty upcoming, Yellow to be on the power play as they look to tie this thing up at two goals apiece. In the gold medal game, we'll get the call on the play. A slashing call coming up against Blue. You know, Joey, it's very clear that the blue team has outplayed the yellow team at even strength. But on special teams, especially on display with that six on five with the extra attacker, yellow is at the clear advantage. Yellow will hop to control immediately. It's Carter Dixon. Throws back at the line for Michael McIntyre. Back for Dixon, who lost the handle on it. Pearson tries to clear the puck. It's knocked down by McIntyre, but forced out the second time around. Here comes Trent Wilson into the attacking zone. Through the puck across, Bonkowski catch. Can't finish that one. What a chance there for Jacob Bonkowski. A great pass from Trent Wilson. Had the goaltender down and out, but he couldn't finish it off. That I get fired all the way down the length of the ice enough for an icing call. You know, not pursuing that puck when it's definitely out of your reach. Could be a smart play when the puck is ice. Conserve some energy, get ready for the next breakout.
tie up on the draw. Yellow will come out with that puck. Michael McIntyre will slow things down behind his own net. Gabrielson will carry that out. Swamis Slick leaves that one behind. It's thrown back up top for McIntyre. McIntyre walks the line for the point. Shoots, glove save made. And that'll be covered up by DeMello. For the yellow team, less whistles the better on this runtime penalty. They want to get as much pressure as they can in between each whistle. Nice pass across, there's a shot just over top of the goal. Logan Johnson had a great chance there to tie things up. Bonkowski, the pass never made it to him. Bode Pearson in his own zone. Pearson gets to the other side of the goal and just fires that down the length of the ice. Pass in for Walters, did not find its mark. Skated onto by Sakunas. Skunas will just backhand that off the glass into the neutral zone. Skated in by Ollie Gabrielson. Gabrielson makes a move at the line, makes another move around Parmar. He'll backhand that one down low. Gabrielson will get that one back. Into the corner. Evers up top. Willis, wrist shot wide. Held in at the line by Landon Hilditch, or at least he tried to. It comes out. 24 seconds remaining in the minor penalty. Johnston threw it over to the other side. Gabrielson for Hilditch. Hilditch gains the blue, throws the puck across. Walters into the middle, backhand chance, stop made. Gorgeous opportunity for Ryan Nevers. There's another chance fired wide. There's another shot wide of the goal from Willis. Down for the line is Walters to play that puck, sent around in the near side corner. Forced out. Here's Parmar. And for Lorenz, back. Parmar couldn't get a shot off. Parmar again, lost the handle on that one to Wagnon. Here comes Zach Wagnon back the other way. Wagnon has Johnston joining the rush. There's a long shot in, handled by the goaltender and covered right up. You know, the majority of that power play, the yellow team struggled to keep shots on net. They just kept getting whistle after whistle and didn't really manage to build any momentum. But near the end there, they really just got shot after shot, opportunity opp after opportunity. A couple nice passes and they kept pressure going on some tired blue team players in leading right after the power play. Yellow will control off this face off, but Richardson's going to shut that one down and force it out into the neutral zone. That'll go on to the tape of Cole Miller. Miller gains the red line, fires that puck back in. Zach Wagner will go after it. Down low, Carone. Carone tried to leave for Wagner and didn't find him. Coming back the other way is Jack Sears. Sears will gain the blue line. Threw it across. Adderlini, he'll get tied up there. Bevacqua tried to play that puck, lost the handle on it, sent over by Brar. Cole Miller, he'll battle with Bevacqua. Carone leaves that puck behind. Miller will backhand that down into his own zone for Braden Willis to go after. Willis tries to get away from Jack Sears. Jacob Morrison, he'll fire that off the boards. Glove down last second by Brar. Into the middle. Bevacqua lost the handle on that puck. He'll be fired back the other way just out of the reach of Jacob Morrison. But he'll try to beat out the icing call, but to no avail. We saw a nice rebound from the blue team after that power play and ensuing pressure. Couple decent scoring chances and we're no really noticing the physicality ramp up, aren't we, Joey? Both teams are really starting to throw their body, finish the checks. Hasn't been chippy, it's been clean hockey, mm -hmm. but they're definitely not playing with kid gloves. Chance for Miles Bergen to skate this puck out himself. Mahil trying to play that one, lost the handle on it. 
Back the other way comes Yellow. It's Michael McIntyre. McIntyre across the line. He's got Justin Brar with him. Into the middle. Lost the handle on that one. Back the other way comes Blue. It's Dawson Toledo. Toledo into the attacking zone. Hold. Shoots over top of the goal. Glove side. He just missed. Missed by a frog hair or two. He was that close to adding to the lead. Do frogs have hair? Yeah, they're very fine. Very, very thin. That's how much he missed by. Alec McDonald in his own zone. Lost the handle on it, but it'll still find its way out into the neutral zone. Here's a chance for McDonald now. They're in three on one. The pass across, and they just missed the trailing. Dawson Toledo. Sent down low by Bonkowski. Toledo shoots. Stop made and covered up by Jaden Sharma. Excellent heads up play by the 6 5 now. play in today's day and age you want to have that big defenseman who has quick feet can move his body real quick and throw the body as well multifunctional athlete if you will blue trying to work it out of their own zone here turned over in neutral ice here's Landon Hildish Threw that puck across to his open man. Finds its way in for Ryden Evers. Evers ahead that'll bounce off the stick of Carter Dixon. In the corner, Bode Pearson had it, lost it. Still loose in the corner. Played there by Evers. Racing for that loose puck is Carter Dixon. Into the middle, lost the handle on it back the other way. Comes Jacob Onkowski into the middle for Lorenz. Lorenz got a partial break. Lorenz in, Deeks, and he'll be wrestled off that puck by a back-checking defenseman. On a great defensive effort there. I believe it was Liam Hunks who came back and got a stick in the lane. Excellent play by Hunks. Here's a chance for Yellow back the other way. It's Nash Walters. Walters tries to throw that puck into the middle. Lost the handle on it. Walters looking to throw it down into the corner for Ryden Evers. They come out with that puck. Gabrielson trying to get a shot off. Can't do so. Back the other way comes Trent Wilson. Wilson. Around behind. Sends it back to the point. Kalen Adderlini. Adderlini for Bronkowski. Jacob Bronkowski wrestled off that puck. Wilson will come in and steal it right back. Wilson in the corner. He'll be pinned up there. Good hit thrown by Evers. Evers now will clear that puck out himself. Throws it for Wagner. Wagner's got a partial break. He's just got to get around Adderlini. Threw it in the middle for Josephson. He'll get tied up. Josephson steals that puck back. Falls down. Finds his man. Shot. Blocked at the last second as Carone got blocked. I think that was Kalen Adderlini who got in the lane there. Scary clearing attempt. Hit the back of the net there. Chance for Bevacqua to clear it out. Can't get to the point in time. Fired back down low by Willis. Bevacqua. He'll make a nice play off the boards ahead for Nishan Parmar. Parmar in with Bevacqua and Richardson. Richardson for Parmar, he can't get a shot off. Held in by Adderlini, he winds up, shoots into the glove of Jaden Sharma and he'll cover that one up. A lot of breakneck speed here at South Surrey Arena. I'm losing my breath. Yeah, I think if Jaden Sharma didn't go up and out, up, he'll take as well. So much opposition from the blue side coming in deep. Here's Yellow out of their own zone. It's Cole Miller. Tried a long stretch pass ahead. Nobody home. Bevacqua on the near side corner. Leaves behind. Breaking it out is McCarthy Richardson. Over the other side, Nishan Parmar. Parmar back for Bevacqua. Bevacqua will be poke checked by Wagnett. Down low. Skated onto you by Cole Miller. Thornley Hall now, lost the puck to Bevacqua. Bevacqua hasn't had a lot of bounces go his way, but he's been a demon on the forecheck this entire tournament. Did open the scoring in the first game. Indeed he did. Had a pair, actually. In the battle of former T-Birds. Parmar, back for Richardson. That'll get picked off last second by Thornley Hall. Holding that in at the line. Cole Miller now. Throws that back to the open wing for Thornley Hall. 
Thornley Hall trying to break it out of his own zone. Wagner will take a check when he didn't have the puck. Falls to one knee, seems to be okay. In comes Carone. Carone. Back of the line. McIntyre. Morrison across. They score. And Yellow will tie this game up. Morrison made the play happen. And it's going to be Anthony Carone knocking home the garbage to tie this thing up at two goals apiece. Morrison's been digging for quite a while, so it's nice to see him help convert and get his team a goal. Now that this game is tied, I'm having a bit of a hard time breaking down that goal. It bounced and rolled Turnover. a little bit Oh, boy, we almost had a Steve Dangle special. If you're a goaltender, 10 the goal. His team finally gets this thing tied up, and he nearly had a gaff behind his own net. Blue's going to try and answer back here. Dumped into the attacking zone by Jack Sears. Liam Hunks tried to center around, held in at the blue line by Brar. Joven Brar tried to send it down low, played there by Hunks. Hunks will try to leave that puck behind, and it's forced forward by Zlomislik. Zlomislik lost the handle on it, as did Morrison. That'll find its way all the way back down onto the tape of Liam Hunks in his own zone. Up for Morrison. That'll bounce off his stick. Morrison lost the handle on it. Here's a race for the loose puck. Verk trying to get there first, couldn't do it. Back the other way comes Blue. It's Jacob Bonkowski, gains the blue line and tur turns. Bonkowski trying to walk around Morrison. Lost the handle on it, got it back. Sends the puck down low. Mahil lost the handle on that one as well. Yellow trying to answer it. Carrying out is Carter Dixon. Across the line. Shot, pad save made by DeMello. Bonkowski overskates that puck. Bode Pearson lost the handle on it. Bonkowski a second time around. He'll make a move. Gets around the four checker. Here they come. They're in three on two. <laughs> Wilson as he was going hard to the net. Stolen away by Landon Hilditch. Hilditch feeds that puck ahead. Hilditch will join the rush himself. Drag, shot wide. I think it was blocked on the way through as Evers let that puck go. Back the other way comes Jacob Bonkowski. He's in with Lorenz and Wilson. Lorenz back for Bonkowski and he didn't have his stick on the ice. Lorenz in the corner. Trying to feed Wilson, can't find him. Comes back of the line. Sakunas. Into the near side corner. Gabrielson will get there first. Gabrielson lost it to Lorenz. Lorenz for Wilson. Wilson lost the handle on that puck. Coming down from the line to play that one was Drew Sakunas. Forced out the second time around. As Bonkowski couldn't keep that puck in the zone. 3.26 remaining. 13.26 remaining. There we go. That's better. Sakunas. Back of the line. Ryland Bonkowski lets that go towards the goal. It goes just wide. Richardson looking for Bevacqua. Bevacqua shot just wide of the goal. Missed on the glove side. Ryan Evers. He'll try to clear that thing out. It's held in at the line. Long shot. Toe save made by Sharma. I get forced out to center. Ryland Bonkowski. He'll carry that puck back in. Bonkowski stops at the half wall. Fired off the boards and out. Drew Sakunas back into his own zone to play that puck. Bank pass ahead for Antonio Bevacqua. Bevacqua, he'll turn on the Jets through neutral ice. Bevacqua trying to get around his man. He'll be tied up. Wagnon, he'll throw a bank pass ahead. Good job to stay on side by Caron. Caron waits for help. It comes to the form. Nice drag move. Shoots. Glove save made. Oh, what a great chance for Logan Johnson as he came in, made a great play. But up to the task of the long save. For Liam Hollett. While he has let in that last goal, it was a bit of a bit of a floater. I, I didn't really think he had much of a chance on that one, bombing it around his crease. Yellow will steal that puck in the attacking zone. 
Carone sends it into the corner. Wagnon, shot wide by Johnston. Wagnon will get it back. He'll make a nice move around a defender. Wagnon across. Johnston holds into the middle. Shot, and nobody can get a shot on it as Carone was standing alone in the slot. Here's another chance. Falling at the blue line is Braden Willis. Here's a chance for a breakaway. It's Richardson. He waits up. And that'll go off the skate of Parmar and into the corner. Bevacqua was with them as well on that three on one. Bevacqua falls down, no call on the play. He doesn't seem too happy as the referee was three feet away from him. Stolen away, back the other way comes Logan Johnston. Johnston into the attacking zone, holds, shoots wide on the glove side. Held in at the blue line by Thornley Hall. He'll send it into the far corner, Zach Wagnon. Sent into the boards by Alec McDonald. Carone up top, Thornley Hall, D to D. Michael McIntyre trying to get his way out of the corner. He's pinned up by a pair of blues. Stolen away by Johnston. Lost it to Bevacqua. Bevacqua sends it behind the net, nobody home. It goes right to Anthony Carone, behind for Wagnon. Wagnon looks for Johnston in front. The pass is there, it's loose. Carone behind the net. Carone holds, Wagnon shoots over top of the goal. Michael McIntyre will hold that in at the blue. Backhand for Johnston, in for Carone. Carone to the backhand, finds his way to the point for McIntyre. McIntyre's pass back for Thornley Hall was out of his reach. Here's Nishan Parmar in on the four check, but he's one on three and he lost the handle on that puck. Carone ahead for Logan Johnston. Johnston had the puck bounce off his skate. Back the other way comes Team Blue. Dawson Toledo, his shot gets blocked. McIntyre lost the handle on that puck. Ben Thornley Hall will regroup in his own zone. Justin Brar, a touch pass for Jacob Morrison just behind him. Jack Sears trying to break that puck in, lost the handle on it. Here comes Logan Johnston. He's in with Justin Brar. Morrison will take it back, back to the point. Hunks down low. Leaves it behind. Here's Justin Brar. Brar drops behind. Point shot blocked by Pearson. Loose puck in the slot that'll be skated onto. We're into the final 10 minutes. Long stretch pass just out of the reach of Dawson Toledo. He'll battle with Liam Hunks. Loose puck to Jacob Morrison. Morrison ahead for Justin Brar. Brar across the blue line. Brar holds, lost the handle on that puck. Goes right to Bode Pearson. Pearson ahead for Jacob Bonkowski. Bonkowski gains the blue line, bit of edge work. Looks for it, take a shot, had it bounce off his stick. Bonkowski still holding on to that puck. What's Jacob got in the corner? He'll spin off a check. He's got hunks on him. Feeds that puck down low. Finds Sears. Back for Jacob Bonkowski. Bonkowski into the middle. Lorenz, shoulder save made to Mello. A great chance there for Team Blue. Yellow's going to slow that down after that save by Sharma. Hunks for Hilditch. Up ahead, Yellow has a chance here. Cutting to the middle, shot stop made, the rebound sits loose. A great chance there for Zlama Slick to, add, to get Yellow on top for the first time in this game. In the far corner, Bode Pearson will strip his man of the puck. Lorenz gave that puck away. In front, unable to capitalize was Carter Dixon off a great feed from Ryan and Evers. Set down low. Evers again shoots wide of the goal. Coming down for the blue line is Brayden Willis. Held in at the line. Nice move made. Still holding that in. Trent Wilson and Jacob Bonkowski are both giving him trouble. Bonkowski forces it out the second time around. Here comes Bonkowski into the attacking zone. <laughs> Bonkowski stops up behind the net. Pass in front and Lorenz couldn't get a clean shot off and will take a whistle after Jaden Sharma fell on that loose puck. It's been a while since that last whistle, Joey. I, I've really taken notice to one thing this period, or this game rather. Every time Jacob Bonkowski gets the puck, I should knock on wood, they enter the offensive zone. Jacob Onkowski's zone entries are on point. He's always getting it deep for his team, whether it's a lateral move across the blue line, whether it's just charging in deep. He doesn't have the most speed out there, but he always gets it in deep for his team.
So as we get down into the nitty gritty, he's gonna be your player to watch then, huh? I'm gonna be watching his line mates. Whoever he can get the puck in deep to. Blue's gonna try and break this puck in. Bevacqua, he fires that puck in, but his teammates were offside when he did so. He's just realizing that now and he'll tag up. And Bevacqua intercepts that pass while still offside. It's been hard not to take notice of the line of uh, line with Bevacqua and Parmar. Parmar's had a ton of chances. Him and Bevacqua seem to have great chemistry together. They're having a hard time converting, but you know if you keep getting chances like that, especially high dangered ones, they're going to go in. McCarthy Richardson also very good on that line very with much Parmar so. and Bevacqua. Trying to work it out of his own zone is Thornley Hall. Back on the other side for Cole Miller. Miller ahead for Wagnon. Wagnon will come in with a burst of speed. He's got Walters with him. Carone joins the rush. Wagnon back to the trailer. It's Miller. Shoots. Blocked. Back the other way comes Antonio Bevacqua. He's got Richardson with him. Bevacqua in for Richardson. He can't get a shot on. Nishan Parmar will skate to that loose puck on the half wall. Look to find Bevacqua, but it'll be picked off last second by Thornley Hall. Bevacqua looks to seal that puck back in neutral territory, and he does so, feeding it back to a defender. Wagnon trying to feed that puck down low for Walters. Lost the handle on it. Back the other way comes Antonio Bevacqua. Bevacqua across the blue line. He'll just send it down low. After that puck was Miles Bergen. Bevacqua trying to throw that to the net. It'll be picked off. Here comes Justin Brar back the other way. Brar in, they're in four on one. Pass back, Carone shoots wide of the goal. Carone had an entire open glove side to shoot at and he just missed. Back the other way comes Miles Bergen, trying to tiptoe through three defenders, couldn't get the job done. Long stretch pass for Justin Brar. Brar, the pass across is picked off before it gets to Johnston. Here's a long stretch back the other way. It's Dawson Toledo. Toledo waits for his man, Bergen. Bergen gets the pass, shoots, and it's swallowed up by Jaden Sharma, and we will take a whistle with four. What was going on there? Two years back and forth, end to end of the ice. I don't think the players were skating that fast. It was all stretch passes. I know we are waiting for that portion of three on three to come, but it felt like we were already in it with the amount of possession changes and end to end rushes, it odd man rushes. We had a four on one which Yellow was unable to capitalize on. Will they regret that one? Time will tell. There's a long shot for the point, a big blocker saved by Sharma, and we'll get another whistle. This could actually be the first game where three on three actually decides it. Face off coming up to the right of Jaden Sharma. Blue trying to make some ha magic happen there. And it was a great chance from Sakunas. His shot was stopped and the rebound was fanned on. Here's a chance for Justin Brar back the other way. He's in one on three, but a wait for help across for Morrison. Morrison lets that puck go. Cross, Logan Johnston. Back for Morrison. Brar let it go into the corner and he tried to feather it out front, but it'll get picked off. 2.45 remaining in regulation time. The battle for the gold medal of the 2022 Elite ID Camp here at the South Surrey Arena. Joey and James live from the broadcast perch. Morrison, do that puck ahead. Chance back the other way, just out of the reach of Logan Johnston, but not enough for an icing call as Alec McDonald is back to play that one. He'll have his pocket picked. Long stretch pass just out of the reach, but not enough for an icing call to be played by Ollie Gabrielson. Gabrielson, over for Landon Hildich. Hildich into the middle. Flamislik, threw that puck into the attacking zone, threw it across, Hildich couldn't take that puck, cleanly collects it in the corner. Threw it down low. Dixon will let that go around to the other side. Lorenz went in there to play that puck for Team Blue. A crowd forms along the half wall. It's eventually pulled loose and chopped back down low by Ollie Gabrielson. 
Yellow will come out with that puck. Back, and they just couldn't get that tape to tape with 100 seconds to go. Charm out of his goal to play that one. Ahead for Gabrielson. DDD for Hilditch. Hilditch across the blue. Hilditch, near side corner, he'll stop up. Sends it around. Right onto the tape of Rylan Bronkowski. Ahead for Lorenz. Lorenz one more time, finds Jacob Bronkowski. They just crossed the line, Lorenz skates onto that puck, in for Wilson in the slot, picked off. Bronkowski again, shot off the shaft of the stick and wide. About to enter the final minute. 2-2 two -two is a tie game. Jacob Bonkowski has that puck, tries to stick handle into the slot. Finds a man off the bench. Shot save made. The rebound is fired into the corner by Gabrielson. 48 seconds left in a tie game. Bonkowski holds, shoots. Blocker save by Sharma. Bonkowski down low, lost the handle on that puck. Gabrielson tries to clear it. Gloved down by Jacob Bonkowski, but skated onto by Yellow. Here comes Carter Dixon. Dixon. Gains the blue line. He'll throw it between his own legs. Nice move. Tries to throw it back for Ryden Evers. Evers collects that puck in the corner. He'll throw back to the point. Willis, D to D. Cole Miller threw it across. Nash Walters in the corner there. Comes onto the tape of Wagnon. In front, they can't get a good shot off there as Walters had the stick slashed out of his hands. Five seconds remaining. And that will do it for regulation time. What a tight game this has been, Joey. True match of uh, top two teams here. So we will do a little bit of three on three action. This is for all the marbles, winner of this. I don't want to call it an overtime because it's not sudden death. It's like an NBA overtime, so to speak. Whoever has the lead at the end of the five minute period will be the gold medal winner. Do we have a contingency plan if they're still tied? No. No. Keep going, I guess. <laughs> Sudden death. Here all night, whatever. <laughs> we'll take it out into the soccer field if we can't find a winner <laughs> on the ice. Goaltenders <sighs> staying the same. Dryden DeMello in for Team Blue. Jaden Sharma for Team Yellow. Well, these goaltenders have been brilliant so far. All four of them that have played so far. I really envy that Eagles coaching staff who's going to have to start making cuts and roster moves here. I sure don't envy them. <laughs> Here's Yellow trying to work early. Tipped in front of the goal just wide as Nash Walters got a stick on that long point shot from Braden Willis. Here's Bode Pearson now trying to break the puck out of his own zone. He'll drop it back for Richardson. Try to cross the line, skating onto that one will be Nishan Parmar. You ought to wonder if Bebequa is the next man out. Well, they elected to go with Parmar and Richardson on this play, as Richardson has been the center for the two of them on their line. Parmar throws back for Pearson at the line. Pearson lets go a floater, tipped on the way through by Richardson, but nobody home, easily gloved by Jaden Sharma. It's not a save you want to give Sharma, easy into the glove. You don't want him feeling himself like that if you're the other team. Any, any kind of a confidence builder for a goaltender is something you do not want to give him, especially on the glove side. Half of the goalie's game is on, is like confidence wise, comes from his glove. Back the other way comes Yellow. Into the attack zone with a burst of speed. He'll cut, shoot, stopped by DeMello. You watch that, DeMello even picked it up right after with his right hand catching glove, which we failed to match throughout the game. Well, I figured we talked about it enough on Saturday. <laughs> Started naming every right handed goalie he'd ever play in the National Hockey League. By the way, another one, the late great Tony Esposito. Well, that's a good one. S still holds the NHL record for most shutouts in a single season that he bet <gasps> set back in 1968 with 15. Ridiculous. Yeah, that'll never be broken, my friend which is saying something considering how good the goalies are these days. Here's Yellow trying to break the puck into the attacking zone. Auntie's Lomaslik. Lomaslik around to the other side. Thornley Hall, he'll battle with Bebequa. Kicks the puck loose. Back of the line, Carone. 
Carone trying to cut it into the middle. Carone makes a move, can't get a shot on goal. Threw it into the middle. Nobody home there. Coming back to play that in his own zone is Justin Brar. Brar feeds that puck for Carone. Carone back into the attacking zone. Carone, he'll try to cut to the middle. Lost the handle on that one. Loose, it's Michael McIntyre. Leaves for Carone. Carone will get run hard there by Dawson Toledo and a great hit. Here's another chance, shot, scores! And that'll do it. An absolute rocket. Sudden death, dragon slaying moment for Michael McIntyre. And an absolute cannon of a shot. You heard her go bing. Far down, 3-2, yellow is gold medal winners of the 2022 Elite ID Camp at the South Surrey Arena. We can just start calling them the gold team instead of the yellow team. It's pretty close. No kidding, a fantastic effort put forth by both of these teams, as well as green and gray on the other games. And look at the sportsmanship from these potential future teammates. Just a whole warm, tender hug and embrace. We just saw goaltender Dryden DeMello come up and give McIntyre a hug. Now, not a lot of hard feelings between these guys. Most of these guys have been playing minor hockey together for most of their lives. A lot of these guys are friends with the goal of all playing junior hockey together. That's the one thing that everybody wants. Yeah, everybody, it's one thing to play junior A hockey anywhere, but it's another thing to do it on your hometown with your buddies in front of your parents every night. And a lot of these guys are trying to do that. Not to be outdone, we have guys coming from all over the place trying to crack this roster because this is a place that players are going to want to be this season. So, uh, it's a new era here at the South Surrey Arena and we're super excited to bring it to you. And this will do it for us for our Elite ID Camp broadcast here on YouTube. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Team Yellow picks up the gold medal. Team Blue gets silver. And Team Gray gets bronze. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. We'll be back with you at the end of August for preseason starting up. And the regular season starts September 23rd. We cannot wait to have you back here at the South Surrey Arena. It's a new era, and we can't wait to welcome you back to the South Surrey Arena. For Fleetwood, Cloverdale, White Rock, and everywhere in between Surrey, thank you for joining us. For my broadcast partner, James Percy, my name is Joey Pitt. Thanks for dropping by, and we will see you next time.